What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I know you guys have been seeing it all over social media. It's been trending for the past couple of days, I believe. It's definitely been trending today. Uh, the hashtag Fire Vince. It's gotten so big, it was trending on Twitter. I believe WWE had some type of live stream event on their channel. And in the chat, it was nothing but comments flooding the chat saying fire vents hashtag fires fire vents and i haven't seen this much like displeasure from the wrestling community especially on the wwe side on social media in a while i think the last time i've seen this much like hate and this much just vocal opinion of what they are not like what a group of people are not liking and not enjoying is when roman reigns won that royal rumble and the rock came out to try to save it and he couldn't and i remember at the time i believe correct me if i'm wrong it was the uh um that's when they had the wwe network like that and it was uh cancel wwe network or something like that it was along that lines of cancel your subscription to the wwe network or cancel wwe network that was the thing now granted obviously they they rode the wave of hate and you know obviously you know things went went as planned as um as wrestlemania came around for that time and you know people kind of got over it but this is a situation that's very very different but more or less the same for the past six seven eight months probably even shorter because i'm sure vince has been back He's just been doing little stuff here and there. Triple H has still been, you know, head of creative. But now, you know, with the whole merger and selling of WWE and all this other stuff, Vince has a little bit more power now. He can he he has the ultimate final say so on the WWE side of things. But I think it's different in a sense that we've gotten used to somewhat decent shows. They haven't always been like the best they haven't really been the worst like what we've seen on um what we saw on uh this past monday night uh the raw after mania i don't think i've seen any of the monday night's raws being this bad but we've kind of gotten used to how things have been with triple h and it seems like even the wrestlers themselves have been enjoying triple h's leadership it seemed like things were going in the right direction, especially the fact that shows were being announced and they were being sold out. I'm talking about sold out because people were wanting to see where Triple H is going to take these pay-per-views or PLE events and, and how stories were progressing. I mean, come on now. The Bloodline story itself is one of the greatest storylines WWE has ever produced one of the greatest you know so there's there's a lot that's been going on and granted the bloodline thing has been going on even with vince there but adding the sammy sammy situation and, and how that turned into something and vince not vince you know vince was a part of it but then having triple h kind of really expand upon that is very dope very telling you know people had something to care about you know there was you know at least a little bit more wrestling on the show may not have been always that entertaining but there was things to look forward to and you knew if the shows, the weekly shows weren't the best, you knew the pay-per-view events, the PLE events, they were going to be something worth watching. And now we're back in this uncertain situation. Well, it's really certain. Vince is back. Now people are upset. So the real question is, and the real meat and potatoes we have to get into the situation is, what do we do as consumers? What do we do as fans? Because best believe, we can be vocal on social media. And I'm all for people staying vocal. I'm all for people letting it be known. Hey, we don't want this motherfucker in here no more. No. So I'm all for people being vocal. But at the same time, there has to be some type of, some type of game plan. I know someone had posted a tweet talking about for this Friday Night Smackdown that people should go to the shows, say, uh, fire events, chant it anytime you get a chance to. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you can't walk in a sign or, you know, have a sign in there talking about fire events because I'm sure they will confiscate that. But 
I'm all for that if that's what you guys want to do. But at the same time, how long will you guys keep doing that? Will y'all do this at every show? Will this be a, another situation where we'll get over it? And I think that's usually how it happens. The only way things will really change is if the other higher ups in Endeavor are not liking what's happening show wise, like the ratings dip. Because also these networks like Fox, Fox and USA, they have a say so too. They have a contract with WWE still. So if these net, if these ratings start dipping, dipping horribly, there's going to be some change. So at the end of the day, it's it's one of those type of things where, yes, Vince is still, you know, have the bulk of creative control. But if things really start falling off a cliff and then people stop watching and these ratings go down, there may be some discussions. All right, well, maybe you shouldn't be doing this. I don't know. Granted, I don't want that to happen. I don't want the ratings to dip and, and fall off. I want good television weekly. But if that's a necessary uh, solution to, to get him to step back just a bit, I don't think he, you know, it'll be a situation where they'll completely let him go from creative. But let Triple H kind of run things, then cool. So that's, that's what it comes down to. When it's all said and done, what will be done when it comes to the consumer will you guys still be watching it will you guys tune out will you guys sit up there and post the tweets and, and hashtags but still watch the shows i know me personally me and dub we watch the shows mainly because you guys enjoy it and a lot of times the shows you know have their good highlight moments and enjoyable moments but at the end of the day, we do it because one, it's part of our job. And two, we get on live stream. And sometimes if there's just some matches, we just don't give a damn about we're talking. We're having a good time. We're we're, we're conversing. It, it, it It's more fun when we watch it together than watching it by ourselves. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of these shows, I definitely would not be watching by myself willingly if it wasn't for you guys. And Dub has said that on plenty of occasions. So it really just comes down, sorry that my screen is glitching out, <laughs> but it really just comes down to what the fans will do. Will they stand by this fire vents notion or will it die down by next week? And will a lot of you guys step away from the product until you until Vince is gone, until you feel like Triple H, or until you see some, some reports that Triple H has gotten more of the creative control again? Let me know. That's that's really the real question. What will you guys do? Are you guys still going to continue to watch the weekly programs? Are you or are you guys gonna step away from it to see, you know, saying if there's gonna be some change? Because honestly, if we really want change. The only way you can get change is if you hurt their pockets. And you would have to essentially stop watching. But I doubt that's going to be the case. Because at the end of the day, we've been down this road before. We have. So, that's my question to you guys. Will you guys continue to keep watching the shows? Or will you guys step away until Vince McMahon is gone? Or until Triple H is, has more control again? Let me know down below, man. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Road to 150K, and I am still the undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.